Right, the city organizers rolled out 1,000 feet of vinyl in Boise this morning, all in the name of having a good time and saying goodbye to summer. Tammy Scardino joins us live in studio to explain. There were some people that were upset the slide was delayed for nearly two hours. They received a refund. Others were happy to get into the spirit of the community. I just moved to Boise just a few weeks ago to start grad school at BSU. So I kind of wanted just to get to know the city a little bit and thought this was a good idea. Slide the City was the perfect event for Brianna Hess to make a splash at. I love water slides. Being outside is the best. If you can include water, the more the better. Protest road in Boise was unrecognizable. The slip and slide length is equal to that of three football fields. For maximum speed and safety, the use of inflatable tubes was required. Anyone who paid the fee to ride the slide was equipped with a water gun and a mouthpiece. All of the volunteers were associated with the local Ronald McDonald House. Our goal is to be a home away from home for families. So they each have their own room. We have volunteers come every day of the week and bake or prepare meals for the family. So that's one thing they don't have to think about so they can focus on the health and well being of their child. Having the opportunity to get in on the action has helped spread awareness to the public that there is a Ronald McDonald House in the Treasure Valley. We have received so much exposure. So I posted on our Facebook page a request for volunteers and that went viral and over 200,000 people viewed that, that post. Organizers have plans to take this event across the country. The first one in Salt Lake City attracted over 3,000 participants.